Hey guys, in this month's top five, I'm going to be sharing with you five book series that I'm starting to question, is this series ever going to finish? So yeah, I think that's self-explanatory. This whole video, I'm going to be sharing with you five book series that I have read and enjoyed. But the thing is, they haven't really had proper conclusions. And I, I am left wondering, are they ever going to conclude or finish? It, it, has the author forgot about those books? Who knows? <laughs> so yeah, let's get going. At number five, I have The Hangman's Daughter series by Oliver Poach. <laughs> I still cannot figure out how to pronounce this man's name. I looked up a pronunciation guide one time and for the life of me, it's it still just didn't sound right and I still can't articulate it properly. Um, this series, if I'm not mistaken, this series is, it, it was originally done in German and then translated into English. And so far here in America, seven books in the series have been published. But when I looked on Goodreads, there's actually, I, be I believe there's nine books. So two books in the series have not been translated over here in America. So I think the series is technically over in the German language. <laughs> it is technically over, I suppose. So this is kind of a technicality in, in a way at number five, but I'm still going to count it. So here in America, the final two books in the series have not been published at all in English. So that's why I'm including this series on the list, because I'm starting to wonder if we'll ever get the final two books in the series. Uh, I mean, if I if I can I can read and speak a little bit of German, but yet a whole freaking book I won't be able to read a whole freaking book in German. You yeah, guys, it would probably take me several years to try to to try to read one book in German. <laughs> so I am I'm a little frustrated that the final two books in the series have not been published in in English. And yeah, am I ever going to get to read the final two books? Who knows? Um, like I said, I do own all seven of the English translated books, uh, but I have read only the first five, I think, or three. I can't remember. I can't remember. I think I've read three, three, or, three or five of the books so far, so I'm a little behind, but still, I I'm beginning to doubt that I'll ever get to read the final two books. <laughs> At number four, The Host by Stephanie Mayer. And you guys, seriously, on Goodreads, if I'm not mistaken, on Goodreads, it, it there are two other books listed for this trilogy. But I think Stephanie, I think Stephanie Mayer has no intention of finishing the trilogy. Uh, and that's a shame because she definitely left this first book open for there to be a trilogy, and I don't know what happened. Seriously, I honestly do not know what happened. Like I said, on Goodreads, there are two other books listed, <laughs> and that's just bizarre and weird. It's like, like, why are they still listed? You know, I don't understand why sometimes these things are still listed on Goodreads. Like, just, just take it out of the system, you know? Um, I do remember liking and enjoying this book, because I, I read this book right after I read, like, the Twilight books, and um, this was like Stephanie Mayer's take on like adult science fiction, if you will. And I liked it. I enjoyed it. I thought the concept was pretty interesting because it follows like a, it follows like a young woman who there's like, uh, there's like an alien inside of her that's like operating her essentially. And so we have two points of view going on in this book. We have the young woman who is being possessed by an alien and we also have the alien. So both women are narrating the story. They're both inhabiting one single shared body and experiencing things through this one single shared body. And it's really fascinating and interesting. I really liked the concept of this book. So it's a shame that Stephanie Mayer never concluded this trilogy. Uh, like I said, on Goodreads, it, it still has two other books listed. And I, I do, I don't think Stephanie Mayer has any intention of finishing this trilogy. At number three, The Order of Darkness series by Philippa Gregory. You guys know me. I love all things Philippa Gregory. I think I own just about all of her books. <laughs> and this series right here, The Order of Darkness series, this was Philippa Gregory's first foray into attempting 
young adult historical fiction. And she wasn't really too successful with it. She wasn't really good with it. Uh, Philippa Gregory just needs to stick with just adult historical fiction. <laughs> that is what she excels at. Um, it's like, it's like Philippa Gregory kind of had like an idea of what young adult fiction should be and she just kind of exaggerated it and a lot of stuff ended up being kind of stereotypical <laughs> to what you find in typical uh young adult fiction especially historical fiction um that all being said i mean i still enjoyed this series for the most part it was it was interesting i love all things philip gregory as i said and four books in this series were published and the fourth book still lay leaves things hanging open um because our main characters have like a, a certain type of quest that they're going on a certain agenda a certain end point and i kind of just assume certain things about the end point obviously and we never got to that end point so yeah the series is not finished there's a there's like relationships left hanging the plot is still hanging we haven't gotten to where these characters need to be so i'm just really curious if philip gregory is ever going to go back to this series and concluding it because I have a feeling there's just really maybe a couple more books that need to be written for it. And yet let me just read a little bit of this plot synopsis because I can't quite remember entirely what the book the series was about but it does. It takes place in 1453 in England. Uh, accused of heresy and expelled from his monastery, 17 year old Luca Vero is recruited by a mysterious stranger to record the ends of the end of times across Europe. Commanded by sealed orders, Luca is sent to map the fears of Christendom and travel to the very frontier of good and evil. And then also in the meantime, we have 17 year old Isolde, who is a lady abbess. Uh, she's trapped in a nunnery to prevent her from claiming her inheritance. As the nuns at her care are driven mad by having strange visions, walking in their sleep, and showing bleeding wounds. Luca is sent to investigate, and all the evidence points to Isolde's criminal guilt. So yeah, we have these two young people, one from a monastery, one from a nunnery, coming together. Yeah, and eventually they, they all kind of break out of all this, and they start spreading out across Europe, and they have like some m mission and goal that they're trying to achieve. So I am. I'm a little frustrated that Philip Gregory has not concluded this series. Like I said, I think there's probably, she probably just needs to write maybe two more books. To the series but it is it's kind of frustrating that's still left hanging <laughs> at number two the book of dust trilogy by philip pullman um two books in this trilogy have come out where the hell is the third book the first two books came out pretty close together the first book came out and then like the very next following year the second book came out and it's been a long time since the second book came out and the third book is definitely still listed um so what you need to know about this trilogy uh philip pullman previously wrote the his dark materials trilogy which is just one of my favorite trilogies ever i love his dark materials and so what this series is supposed to be it's supposed to be kind of a continuation of that world so this first book is a prequel to his dark materials and then the second book in the series which is called the secret commonwealth that book actually takes place after the events of his dark materials and then yeah the third book is supposed to continue after that so uh, i am just really perplexed why philip pullman hasn't released the third book yet what what happened because <laughs> i'm assuming it's still coming um like i said i i love and adore the his dark materials trilogy just some of the most compelling and interesting thought-provoking books out there i love the tv series adaptation my god so good and yeah i really enjoyed this prequel i, I haven't read the secret commonwealth yet that's still laying around on my shelves i'm really excited to get to that one because like i said that does take place after the events of his dark materials yeah following a grown-up lyra lyra who who was the main character of that original trilogy following her as a grown-up and Kind of where her life has gone after the events of that of that trilogy so uh I, I am i'm really anxious for the third book to come out because i wanted even though i read this first book already I, I i wanted to try to go through the entire this new trilogy and like binge my way through it and i feel like i'm never going to get to do that <laughs> and at number one if you have not guessed it already my god uh, i think everybody in, in the universe is anticipating this and this is a song of ice and fire by george R. R. martin so far, what, what, five books, I believe? Five books in this series have been published. The thing is, the fifth book 
in this series was published, God, when? Like back when the very first season of Game of Thrones aired, if I'm not mistaken? Seriously. And yeah, Game of Thrones, that first season aired back in, two, in 2011. So it's been over a decade at this point since the very last book in the series was published. And yeah, many, many of us are just wondering if George R. R. Martin is ever going to finish the series because he has two more books that are supposed to be coming out. And he keeps giving updates on his progress, but it's still just really disheartening. <laughs> you know, the progress that he is updating us on, it's still just disheartening, like really is it coming I, I think his publishers are getting i think his publishers are getting frustrated too because you know this is big money for them that should be coming through and it's not um so so yeah the, the final two books in the song of ice and fire series are perhaps some of the most anticipated books in the history of the world <laughs> and I, I yeah many of us are just really frustrated and concerned um i mean yeah i i want i want george r, r. martin to write the best possible books you know, I don't want him to rush through the books, but at the same time, it does feel just a little bit ridiculous how long it's taking. And I mean, it does it just has me questioning what's happening behind the scenes. You know, is is he is he facing writer's block? Does he have no i does he have no idea how to conclude this series? You know, uh, it does. It has me concerned that the final couple books in this series may end up being disappointing. So you guys, that is it for my top five books that have left me questioning, are they ever going to conclude and finish? Because I feel like they aren't. <laughs> so in the comments below, are there book series that you guys have read that, that you're wondering, is this ever going to end? <laughs> uh, do you have similar books like me or do you have some other series to add to the list? Just let me know. Um, so that is it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this video, you may like these other videos. Bye guys.